Well, my lean of overs is going to come to an end with this next game here. Uh, Boise State taking on uh, San Diego State. Uh, we've got uh, Sandy or Boise State rather seven point road favorites, forty five and a half the total in this game. Um, man, it's they just weren't clicking on all cylinders last week, Oregon State, and I could tell right away like they're, they're probably not going to cover this number. Uh, it just wasn't that overly sharp, crisp dominance that I thought we would see from Oregon State. So San Diego State does get a point spread cover, but still this offense is terrible. Absolutely terrible. The only thing that kept uh, them from uh, that kept them covering that game and that 26 to nine loss uh, to Oregon State was the fact that again, Oregon State's uh, uh, offense just it, it was not a great game from DJ. You know, we had sub 50 percent completions, more interceptions and touches. It was actually a very disappointing game from DJ. Uh, he did get it going later, but uh, I expected a little bit more from that. They did rack up 256 passing yards, uh, San Diego State, but a lot of that was in garbage time. Remember, don't look at that and say, oh, Jalen Maiden finally got things going, throwing the ball for San Diego State. No, they were down big the whole game. They had to throw it, you know, and Oregon State's playing a little more passive, uh, conservative defense, you know, at that time. So I'm not sold on him still as a pocket passer. Uh, we've seen uh, this Oregon State team in three games this year or four. They beat Ohio, but they benefited from Curtis Rourke getting injured and not returning in that game against an Idaho State team where they were favored by 34. They barely won the game straight up, 36-28. They had blown out by UCLA. Even though they did cover against Oregon State, they still get, you know, a decisive uh, defeat by margin, 26-9. to I, I don't really want San Diego State right now uh, at this point in time. Uh, but I don't really love the idea of, yeah, let's lay seven here with Boise either. I mean, this is just going to be probably a game I don't get involved with. Uh, the offense, when you look at what they've done, they uh, got shredded on defense by Washington. The UCF game is just something to really, really dive into. The one a couple weeks ago. You can't take much from last week. Boise played uh, North Dakota. They won handily. But the UCF game. Don't be fooled by that and think, what a great defensive game against Gus Malzahn's team, giving up just 18 points. They got shredded in that game. They gave up over 500 total yards of offense. This UCF team just, it was just a boatload of mistakes. You know, it was interceptions by Plumlee. It was missed field goals. It was all kinds of just, it crumbled in Boise State territory over and over again in that football game when they were just moving the ball up and down the field against UCF or against Boise, rather, UCF. And so don't be fooled by that. You're going to look at – that's why you cannot – got to watch games. you got to look at the box score. you got to look at everything that goes into it. You're going to see that 18 to 16. Wow, they held UCF to 18 points. No, they didn't. Uh, they gave up over 500 yards of offense. UCF shot themselves in the foot over and over again uh, in that football game. So I'm not sold on Boise State's defense here. That being said, I'm also not sold on San Diego State's offense. So it leaves me – you know, we're rocking a hard place here as far as what to do is with the side. I will say this about the uh, Boise State uh, quarterback uh, situation. Uh, certainly when you're looking at it, uh, Talon Green, we know he can run, but he's another guy that's still trying to work on his accuracy throwing the football consistently for Boise. So this is definitely the first game on the card, Connor, where I would certainly lean under as far as this total goes. Uh, what do you think here? Shout out to the chat. We got here to my guy, Nasty Nate. Said, yeah, look at all the non people in the green. Let's just hit up the people in the green. Dunya up in here. Nasty Nate. That's about it. Oh, there we go. My guy, Jimmy Gomez. I wanted to hit up back here. Pre Wine time, as always. My dude, real deal prime. The grinder in the chat. Appreciate it, Morgan, as always. Thank you. Thank you. JW, what's going on? This is ugly, Havana. I really don't want anything to do with these two football teams, betting-wise, period, at all. Yeah, you mentioned Taylor Green. I don't know what we get. You know, one thing, San Diego State, they got a good kicker. You know, he's probably one of the best in the country, but that was it. He nailed a 52-yarder, but they're not very good oh, yeah, at offense Browning, or defense. Browning yeah, Browning. Terrific. Yeah, he was already top, you know, going in in the year. But, yeah, he hit that one to make it 12-3. And, and uh, Oregon State. I think, yeah, it was just off, you know. There was a couple interceptions. They weren't just crisp, but there's nothing I've seen from San Diego State, you know, that I'd like to maybe take them here as a home dog. I can't do it right now. This, for me, was a quick pass. As of Monday. No. All right, as of Monday, nothing for Connor Mac. 